Hey everybody, it's Troy. I got a question from a customer who was trying to do a picture in picture, uh, but then swap them out uh, and and find transitions so that uh, it wasn't always static, so that the picture in picture wasn't always in, in this corner that maybe you might make them a little bit more dynamic. So I'm starting with something like this uh, where I've got, in fact, let me turn on my cursor here real quick. Uh, so I've got my camera here uh, up in the upper left and I've just grouped everything so that it it's simple and the naming is simple uh, and then I've got slides right uh, the camera is smaller here uh, scaled down to 37.6 percent and I moved it up into a different position over here and and there we go okay so that's that's a start right uh, now what uh, the first option that I've I've shown here is where I've created just simply some some custom animations and let me turn off this top track first um, so I've still got slides in fact I'm just gonna show you one at a time so the slides go this is just a custom animation shift a is all you do and uh, you then resize it and put that over there and then with the camera uh, I said cool let's go from here to here right uh, nothing too terribly difficult except um, because of the Z order right the camera is now up in front and it's full and so it's like covering up uh, it's covering up the uh, slide so all I did is uh, I took in fact let me do this for you here is I took this slide and uh, I copied it and I pasted it Ooh, uh, here we go and I pasted it and I just uh, put it back over here um, what I did on this one here, though, is I went uh, to the very beginning, uh, since that was on top, right? It's full screen. It's covering everything, is I went to the properties here, and I changed the opacity to zero. So it only becomes visible um, over here where the opacity is 100. So here we go. You can see already the opacity changing, right? And, uh, and then it goes like that, All right? So here's, uh, here's one option. Whoop. One more time, uh, just to show it, we uh, created a custom animation at the bottom uh, that transitions the slides. We created another custom animation that uh, transitioned the camera to the forefront. And then I simply copied the slides where uh, I it still is going to the final end location, but at the beginning it's uh, fully transparent and, uh, and then it shifts in there. So that's one option. Another one that I did is I took uh, the camera in the slide, right? And then I said, fair enough, we're going to go here to start, and then we're going to go here to the end. So I, I simply uh, took the, uh, the camera, and instead of it being up top, I moved it down to a lower track. It's simple enough. But then what kind of a transition do you use? Well, uh, I went to the transitions, and in 2021, there are some really... Um, beautiful ones and uh, and I made this transition happen whoop, like that uh, that transition is let's see here let me click on it uh, it's called the flip transition and uh, so here I can turn it off so you can see what it's look what it looks like uh, without what it looks like without it so it just goes switch without it but uh, with the uh, transition on yeah uh, it uh, I think it it looks uh, quite a bit nicer cool nice little effect and then I did this one this zoom I use uh, what did we do here uh, doorway um, okay so I guess what I need to explain is what I did with this one I took this same concept of a camera and a slides right and I combined them together uh, command G or control G and and it made a group I'll undo that just to leave that part alone. But I did, uh, I grouped it together and then I right clicked and I renamed it and I renamed this one small camera pip, right? So the picture in picture is kind of small um, where my camera footage is small. And I did this something similar over here where I called it big camera pip. In other words, in the, this picture in picture, the camera is the big thing. Um, so anyways, I just, uh, group those and that made it easier for me to do this transition uh, which has do, 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 um, let me click this here there we go uh, doorway so it looks like this 
right? It looks like someone's coming and walking through a door, right? And there we go. And then the final one. Uh, this one I think may actually be one of my favorites. I did the same type of grouping here uh, where I grouped my, my two tracks and that allowed me to then add a, a simple chevron. In fact, let me get the right name of this title. Oh, it's called The Arrows. Uh, so uh, I dragged, in fact, I can get rid of it just so you can see how to do it. I go over here to the transitions and I grab the arrow and I drag that in between and uh, it's the fullness of the message not just the big headline right okay so there we go and if you want to you can make that transition longer or you can make it shorter right or however however you want to play this out and if you want to get fancy you can also go and add a transition effect uh, sound effect to go along with it hope this helps thanks for watching